going to uh, average out the age difference. <laughs> I'm Eva, my name is Eva Morales, and uh, I say Morales because I am Mexican. I know I don't look it. Well, one of the reasons I might not look it is actually because uh, I'm actually half Scottish and half Mexican. You guessed it. Not a designated driver in the whole family. <laughs> It's cool though being Mexican and not looking it, because then you get to find out what white people think about Mexicans. Because people see all kinds of weird stuff around you when they don't know you're Mexican. Like I was shopping for an apartment in Houston one time, Houston, Texas, you know? And I was down there, I was talking to one of the residents, and I'm like, you know, what is this apartment like? You know, what are the, what's the complex like? Do you like the manager? Does he run a good place? Yeah, I like this manager. He's got a good place here. I like a lot. You know, he won't rent to no Mexican. <laughs> wow. Cool. I bet you're glad he doesn't discriminate against the mentally retarded. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I got a Mexican mom. And it's, you know, it's, it's weird having a Mexican mom because Mexican moms, I prayed when I was little. I prayed for a timeout or what's the other thing that Americans do? Time out and grounding. I prayed for one of those, because Mexican moms are not about that. They're all about the guilt and the fear. That's how they keep you in line. It was like, God forbid I not make my bed in the morning, because it was like, Timothy, you make your bed. <laughs> now I have to make your bed. Do you know that every time you don't do what you're supposed to, and you sin, that you make a thorn go in the head of Jesus? <laughs> and the fear, the fear. You know, Mexican moms have no trouble conjuring up all the evil of the underworld. Don't lie to a Mexican mother. I know you're lying. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me you're lying. It's okay. I know. But when you go to bed tonight, the devil is going to put his tail in your mouth. No psychological scars here. I finally figured it out. That is why Mexican gangbangers are not afraid of the police. Like, hey man, what are you gonna do? You're gonna put me in jail? Oh man, I'm scared. I said, what are you, police? You got a gun? You don't scare me, man. I had the devil's tail in my mouth, man. I'm divorced. And I'm dating. And that means I'm also addicted to plastic surgery. So I have like I have an attitude about you know taking care of myself. I you know if I if I look in the mirror and I'm a little wrinkly, I get some Botox, a little loose in the jawline, get a little nip and, nip and tuck, a little thick in the middle, and go to the gym. But men have a totally different standard for taking care of themselves. Guy my age looks in the mirror and he goes, getting a little old, looking tired, looking on them man boobs. Is that a beer belly? I think I need a Corvette. <laughs> anyway, I don't even know why I'm drinking this. I sh totally should not drink. I, I, my time's up, but I, I just gotta... I should not drink. I cannot handle alcohol. You know, one of these, somebody's gonna get a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>